I am Ukrainian. My father was Ukrainian. My mother was Scottish. But I have always, my entire life, sided on the Ukrainian and said I was Ukrainian. My grandparents, I learned only probably a few years ago, were from Shorktow in Ukraine, which has changed hands several times. It was Russian, it was Polish, and the Nazis took it over. My grandparents were part of the first wave of Ukrainians that came to Canada. They were um, part of Sifton's sheepskin. Sifton was the name of the MP who was in charge of bringing Ukrainian immigrants over to develop uh, Western Canada into farmland. And these people that came from uh, that part of the country were at that time in Austria, had Austria passports. Um, so the area has changed hands many times, but overall it's Ukraine. Uh, Shorktow is Ukraine now. And because they came over in 18, uh, 1897 or somewhere around there, my um, any relatives that I have from that area, I don't know if they're still around or they're alive or what. I've never been told about them. Uh, my dad never spoke about his family. And he never spoke about growing up in Canada because, and then I found out after he died, it's because when they came over, they were not welcome. And if the children were speaking Ukrainian in school, they were beaten up, ostracized. So that's why he had an aversion to the language. So I, after he died, uh, about 1994, I did some research on the area of um, that, um, about Ukraine in general and, and the experience that the uh, Ukrainian Canadians had when they came over. And that helped me understand more. But since then, I've learned more about Shorktow and, and my actual ancestry roots. So that town was decimated during World War II because the Nazis came in and took it over and they slaughtered everyone in the town. Um, there was a large Jewish community. Probably most of the town that I re could see was made up of, of Jews. And there is a census taken before the war of 10,000 Jews in that town. And after the war, there were 100. So it's hard to know if anybody from my particular family is still alive. We weren't Jewish, but it doesn't matter. Um, so I have a lot of skin in this game and in what Russia is doing. And what I have, I'm a history buff. I've got hordes of military books. So I've, I've been, this has been my bailiwick for a long time because um, my dad served in World War II in the Navy. So I have been reading military books and, and history since I was a kid, and I am seeing history repeat itself. Today, when I look at the pictures of Ukraine, it looks like Hiroshima. <laughs> and, and let's give you a history lesson here. The Americans... They were not really that popular in Canada because they did not go to war. They did not back Poland. They did not go to war to help Europe. The only reason they went to war is because Japan bombed Pearl Harbor and basically dragged them into it. But before that, they did not, they didn't want to get involved. So I kind of feel like we're seeing that now. And it's really pissing me off.